Okay, just a simple little tire repair. Doesn't require patches or anything taking it off. Just need the bead sealed. Rubber cement works. It ain't pretty. But it's not high speed tire. I ain't got to worry about it. It's just a garden tractor. It works. Bead sealer would be better, but rubber cement's a lot easier to find and a lot cheaper. So, it works. Not leaking. I'm happy. I can use my tractor again. But I haven't put air in it every other day. Of course, I probably won't need it for another month or two if I get any work done today. So, I get to use it today, maybe a couple days. At least I don't have to worry about filling it, filling it up with air next time I use it. So, I'm happy. That's it. I'll just go put it back on, drive it around. Okay. Just removing the valve stem here, let what little bit of air that's in there out, and then just gotta break down the bead. I sped up the recording so it wouldn't be like excessive amount of time just sitting there watching paint dry. So just break the bead, push it down. Uh, I use a pry bar and a little bit smaller pry bar here. Once you get started, it usually just pops off. You can always put a little bit of soap on there and make it easier to come loose. Okay, I got both sides loose. I was thinking about taking the rim out. I'm like, no, nah, I don't need to. I just need to reseal the bead on it. So just take a little wire brush, clean off all the loose rust, paint, whatever might be there. Try to make it as smooth as possible. If you're really industrious, remove the rim entirely. Strip all the paint, sand it down real good, give it a good paint job, and you can do it that way. And then you probably wouldn't need bead sealer, but it doesn't hurt because usually once these things start leaking, they're going to leak for the rest of their lives. New tire or not. I mean, you clean it up, it'll last a year or two. But if you put a little bead sealer on there, it should last a very long time because as long as you never break the bead, it won't have any way to get moisture in it to rust. So you're basically just sealing up the part between the rubber and the metal. And it should last a long time. Right now I'm just wiping it off, cleaning up all the uh, little rust and goo. Just need to let it dry up a little bit. So I just put my little body hammer in there and the other pry bar just to give it some gap to let it dry out. Let it sit for about four or five minutes and it wasn't too bad. You wipe it off, it usually evaporates pretty quick. So I edited a lot of that out. So right here I'm just taking the rubber cement, use it as bead sealer. Since this is just a lawn tractor tire, it shouldn't be an issue. It's not like it's ever going to be high speed and cause any kind of balance issues. I wouldn't do this with a car tire. You know, use bead sealer and you're still going to need to get it rebalanced. But just that little bit of weight can throw off the balance on your tire. So, you know, let somebody do that that actually has the right tools to do that so they can rebalance your tire. If it was an emergency, you're just trying to get get off the road or something. This would work just to get you down the road, but I wouldn't recommend it. This is like a last ditch thing, but for a lawn tractor, this thing goes maybe two mile an hour, five mile an hour at the most. This tire is never going to vibrate. Not from imbalance of a little bit of sealant I put on here. And now here we are trying to air it up. Let's try to seat the bead, hook up the pump. I muted out this part because it's just noisy and it sounds like a mechanical clicking when you speed it up. It took about a minute and a half to air it up. You gotta, had to squeeze it a little bit to get it to seal. Sometimes you have to take a strap or a belt and cinch it down and get it tight, get it to seal, but it didn't take that much to do this one. And after about a minute, it had about 12 pounds of air in there, I think it is what it calls for in the tire. So yeah, then I just kind of wipe off the excess rubber cement that squished out of it. Put some soap, soapy water to it, check the, for leaks. And then let it sit for a minute, make sure there's no bubbles coming out of it. I mean, these tires are like brand new. They're probably five or six years old, but they're like brand new. They still have nubs on them. Not like I use it a whole lot. 
And there, that's it. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something. It's not that hard to do, but it does take a second to do. Have a great week.